<clears throat> All right, what's up, Braytubers? This is my final, I already said that once, but this is, this is really, this is seriously, this is my final, final, final uh, 2018 dual grain, triple play, double IPA hop experiment. Uh, and this is from Lubru, uh, Lubru Ryan. And I've seen some of the other reviews on this and I think the carbonation is low, so I already know that going in. So um, this, this beer uh, was a little bit out of uh, Ryan's comfort zone, I think. He's normally used to doing hazy beers. I think his beer, well, it's got a little bit of haze to it. It's got a little bit of haze to it. He used uh, Warrior for his bittering, Whole Melon for his um, flavor, and then Mosaic for his dry hop. Can't go wrong with that, right? I've never used Whole Melon, but I think I've tasted it in one or two beers. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get a pour. Okay, like I said, I'm not expecting a not expecting a big head on this, although eh, I got up a little bit. Look at that. It's got some carb. It's got some bubbles going up. Just for some reason it's not, you know, it's not making much of a head. I know it's got carbonation in it, so that's kind of interesting. Um, the uh, yeah, the appearance is kinda you can see there it's uh you know it's about mid haze, not Ryan's normal uh, orange juice or cream sickle uh, kind of haze, but you know. Uh, color spot on. It's like that kind of light burnt orange color that most of the other beers have been. So, all right, let's go ahead and get a nose on this thing. Get a little bit of linalool. Um, it's like kind of lavender uh, hop oil. Um, you, and you, you know you can get it because you know the way they taught us in the in the in the hop essential classes you. Kind of put your nose a few inches above the glass, and if you get that lavender smell, then it's got linalool in it. So this has got linalool. Uh, linalool is kind of that really pleasant, you know, it's, you know, typical in a lot of IPAs, that kind of nice fragrant smell. Not like the the dankness, or it's the kind of the more, you know, kind of sweet uh, lavender, lavender type smell. So this has it. Uh, I don't get any dankness on it. Maybe a, maybe a slight dankness. The predominant thing I get on this is that linalool uh, kind of lavender um, quality. So, I guess it's kind of slight melon. It doesn't, it's not really, even though the name is whole melon, I'm assuming, uh, I've never read up on it, but I'm assuming it's supposed to be a melon. I'm not really getting much on the melon, uh, to be honest. I think it's more of that, that kind of lavender linalool uh, quality. So anyway, enough of the nose. Let's go in for our taste. Cheers, Ryan. I think I'm getting a uh, slight phenolic on this one. Um, the kind of, uh, you know, you can describe it as like plastic or Band-Aid. Um, I think that's, uh, I'm not sure if it's the water. I know um, Nate did a review on Nikhil's and he picked up the same thing. I don't, um, it's weird. I didn't pick that up on Nikhil's. I don't remember. I think the one thing I remember from the kills was the explosive uh, carbonation. <clears throat> I don't remember the, the the phenolic, but I definitely get the phenolic on this one. But past that, um, the flavor is really nice on this thing. The bittering especially is like really, really smooth, which kind of makes sense because Ryan's used to doing uh, New England IPA, so he's used to doing beers that don't have a lot. He's, he crams everything in in the final minutes and doesn't get a whole lot of uh, alpha acids up front, so... He did use a, a warrior up front. Uh, I can't read how early on he did it, but uh, but yeah, th I mean this one for me, I think uh, unfortunately it's got a little bit of that phenolic in there. It kind of kind of gets in the way of the other flavors, uh, but I can tell with the with the nose. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of that phenolic on the nose too. Damn, that's a shame because I was really looking forward to the the whole melon coming out on this. So yeah, it was more carbonated than what the head would, uh, you know, would have suggested. 
I'm wondering if the phenolic piece, I'm going to go back and read on this, if that has anything to do with head retention, uh, because this is probably the lowest head on any of the beers I've seen. Um, and it's really hard to work it up. I mean, I know carbonation's in there because I can taste it and see it, but uh, it just doesn't really build up much of a head. So I'm going to have to go read up on the on the phenolic piece. So anyway, yeah, sorry, Ryan. I think this one kind of, the phenolic piece kind of got in the way for me, but um, um, the yeah, I didn't really get the mosaic. Uh, I didn't get the whole melon in this. Uh, I could kind of get a little hint of it, I think. Uh, what I did get, uh, though, was that kind of lin uh, linalool, that's, that's how you pronounce it, kind of lavender, the really nice uh, quality on the rose, uh, or on the um, uh, on the nose. And I think if some of you, if you haven't reviewed it yet, think about that when you do the aroma on this one. Think about that lavender piece. I think you'll, I think you'll see what I'm picking up on. So anyway, hey, good beer. Uh, even though it's got some phenols, I'm gonna, we've got the Redskins getting ready to come on. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink my way through this thing. Uh, thanks, Ryan, for participating in the hop experiment. And thanks everybody for doing this. This has been a lot of fun. Um, it was, I enjoyed watching all your videos. Uh, it seems like you guys really got some good benefit out of it too. We had some interesting hops in there. I had never had Dr. Rudy. Uh, I had never had Strata. I had never had HBC 431. Um, I had never used Palisades myself. Um, not really a big fan of it, to be honest. I think you kind of saw that in my, my review. I didn't really like my beer all that much. Uh, I mean... It, it was drinkable, but I didn't, you know, the Palisade tops didn't, didn't really like blow my hair back or anything. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there was some, uh, the brew one malt I really like from, uh, from Wally. Um, I think I might like whole melon just unfortunately with the phenolics. I can't really tell on this one. Uh, but anyway, yeah, all in all, it was just a really great, uh, appreciate all the beers you guys, uh, 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 the extra beers you guys sent me. Uh, so I have extra IPAs from everybody. Uh, some of them are already gone, actually. Um, um, this was the, this is actually the second one of Ryan's. I actually did a uh, another bottle last night, but it had the phenolic, so I was hoping it was even actually stronger on the other one I had, uh, and I was hoping that this one it was just a fluke, uh, kind of like that second bottle I did for Nate, but unfortunately it's still here. So uh, anyway, but like I said, thank you for all the great beers. Uh, it's been a wonderful experiment, and I guess we're getting ready to start ramping up for the SJ Pour Challenge. So. That's going to be coming at you, and uh, I'm going to start planning now for the beers that I'm going to do for the National Homebrew Convention because I'm not messing around this year. I'm, you know, normally I kind of wait to the last minute and then try to come up with a recipe, but uh, I'm going to use some tried and true recipes and kind of do some tweaking on them. So anyway, hey, cheers, guys. Hope you're enjoying your uh, Veterans Day weekend. If you see a veteran, uh, and if you didn't watch Saturday Night Live last night, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, Pete Davidson did an apology to uh, Congressman-elect uh, Dan Crenshaw for making fun of his eye. And something that came out was that, you know, uh, Pete's dad had been a, one, of the, one of those sacrifices in 9-11, which was kind of interesting, a turn of events. So they made up, which gives us all kind of hope for Republicans and Democrats and folks not getting offended and, you know, getting along and being able to laugh at one another. So anyway, it is Veterans Day weekend. So if you see, uh, see a veteran, remind him, never forget. Um, and uh, yeah, have a happy Veterans Day. Cheers. Oh, Army is going to kill Navy this year. We are eight and two, and Navy is two and eight as of yesterday. <laughs>